Opening up your Bible to Genesis chapter 12, we see the call of Abraham. We see God come to Abraham and call him unto himself. And the Lord makes promises to Abraham. Abraham becomes the father of the nation of Israel. He has a son promised to him in his old age. And there's a lot of lessons that we learn from the life of Abraham. So let's pick up in... Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. And we actually see that Abraham does not yet have the name Abraham. His, his name is Abram. The Lord has not yet changed his name. So in verse 1 we read, Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you, and I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and to him who dishonors you I will curse. And all in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Now we're going to stop right there for today and examine and dig into these verses. The Lord talks to Abraham. God initiated the conversation. And the Lord calling pagan Abraham to leave his country and to leave his kin and to leave his father's house God's calling him to go to a foreign land to go away from all of his family and to get out of his father's house to no longer be living with his immediate family it's a pretty big call be pretty uncomfortable as well I would dare to say think about that if God called you to go to another country you're not going to have any family there at all. It's not like you're at least moving somewhere where you have an uncle or something. No. No family. And you're called to leave your immediate family. When Abraham leaves, all he's going to have really is his wife. Now we're going to see his nephew decides to tag along as well later on. But God is calling him to take a very bold step of faith. And why is God calling him? And, and where is God calling him to? Why? Where? Well, the where question Go to the land that I will show you. He's just supposed to pack up his bags and start leaving. God doesn't say where, but he does say why. I will make you a great nation. God is calling Abraham to go on, and he's going to make a great nation out of him. What an incredible promise. Imagine for a second, you're in Abraham's shoes. You're living in Haran with your, your brother has died. Your father has is, is just died not too long ago. And God comes to you and says, get away from your other brother and your family that's there. I want you to leave where you are. Go to a land I'm going to show you. I am going to make you into a great nation. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to give you a great name. You're going to be famous. And you're going to be a blessing. Whoever blesses you, I am going to make sure that they are blessed in return. And anybody that dishonors you, anybody that is, you know, mean to you, Abraham, Abram, I'm going to make sure that a curse follows them. And in you, all the families of the earth, all, all tribes, all nations, all people on the face of the earth are going to be blessed. Wow, that is an incredible promise. And Abraham was. God made him famous. He is a hero of the faith. Was he perfect? No, I don't want to deify Abraham. Abraham was not perfect. We will see that. He was a sinner. He was saved by God's grace. But Abraham obeyed God. And it was credited to him as righteousness. He truly believed God. That's where his faith was. And he is called the father of faith because of that. So today, join me in prayer. Father, I thank you and I praise you for Abraham's faith. Father, here he is, living with his family, and you call him out, and you have chosen him to be the one through which the Jewish people would come, and through which, Lord, ultimately the Messiah, the Lord Jesus, would be born. And, Father, the one through which we, all believers through all times, look at him as an example of faith. Father, I pray that Abraham's life penetrates us deeply, that we don't just read the story and rush on. But, Father, dig in and realize what you're doing. Put ourselves there next to Abraham. Wow, the things you're saying, so incredible. Father, you are God. You chose these things. You chose to make Abraham famous for your glory. 
It wasn't for his own benefit, but it was for your benefit, for your glory and your name and your Messiah ultimately. Father, help us to be in awe of you, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen.